when I want to break up a 30 degree triangle, personally I can just say 75, that this must be 37.5, but we'll go through it properly and say this diagonal, this value here, the horizontal components, this horizontal component, it's adjacent to my number, yeah? It's adjacent and it's at 30 degrees. So my rule for cos 30 degrees is 0 0.866. So I can write 75 cos 30 degrees equals 75 times 0 0.86. 0.866. Could someone do that for me in the calculator? Okay, 64.95. Does that seem plausible? Yes, it seems plausible because it's less than my hypotenuse. Okay, so we've done step one, step two, right? We're now go we're at step two. We're now going to add up all of. Oh, we've got four forces. We're going to add up four forces. So we're going to go up 50 because we're going to the left. Because we're going to the left, I have to make sure that my arrows point tip to tail, right? So that means that they flow in the same direction, so across 80. Then I'm going to go up here, 64.9. <laughs> and then uh, I need to go down 37.5. I want to check out, I haven't missed any forces. One, two, three, four. Okay, so what am I missing? What more do I need to make that work? All right. What gap do I have here? So just to show, this is where we started. We started here, that's our start point, and that's our end point. Right, that's our start point, that's our end point. Our resultant will go but from our start point to our end point. It will be that value there. 50 minus 37.5. Okay, yeah, okay. So what are our values here? What's, what are we missing? What do I need to add to 64.95 in order to get to 80? 15.05. Uh, 15 okay, what do I need here to get to that value? 12.5. Now, if I just draw that triangle up again, 15.05, 12.5 equals my resultant R. R equals the square root of 15.05 squared plus 12.5 squared equals, can someone tell me that? 19.56 newtons. Does that seem plausible? Yeah. Is it, the hypotenuse must be bigger, right? So that's good. Okay, now we have to give ourselves an angle. I don't care where we measure our angle from. I'm happy to measure our angle from here. That's fine by me. So I've said that theta equals, right, so we're now at step four. Step four, we use trigonometry. I'm going to say theta equals the inverse of tan, or the arc tan, if you're using the computer, a tan on Excel. And it's going to be the opposite, which is opposite my theta. 15.05 .05 over 12.5, which is our adjacent. Okay, can someone type that in the calculator for me? 50.28. 50.28. Okay, degrees. So I'm going to write here my angle. I'm going to write my angle like this and say 50 degrees. Does it look like it could be 50 degrees? Does that seem plausible? Yeah. 